You're probably wondering what I'm doing standing in my empty pool in the middle of February and what it has to do with skin cancer. It's to show you the devastating effects the sun can have over the course of time. For 13 seasons, the only thing between this pool liner and that sun was four feet of water, except for one spot. Right here. Think your skin's gonna fare better? What if it doesn't? Here's my story. I'm John. I've lived my whole life here in New Jersey, and I've spent a lot of time at the Jersey Shore. Growing up as a kid, I played mini golf in Point Pleasant, and I'd go on the beach and ride my big wheel here in Avon, New Jersey. And I remember going fishing right out here on the rocks, the Shark River Inlet. And while I remember my parents putting sunscreen on me as a kid, I remember a lot of times when I was a young adult, when I didn't. Or I'd put it on and I'd forget to reapply it. Needless to say, those times, I'd come home as red as a solo cup. So having red hair, fair skin, and light eyes, it didn't surprise me when I went to the dermatologist's office one day and he said, looking at Mike's chest, you got a basal cell. And I guess it didn't surprise me the second or third time or the times on my back, but nothing was the worst. Then the one time I went for my six month checkup and as soon as he came into the room, he looked at me, he said, hey, how's it going? Good doc, you? And he looked at my face and he said, how long you had that mark right there? I said, you know, it's kind of funny you say that. I, said, I noticed it probably just a week or two ago. He took out his scope, looked at it, and two seconds later he said, that's a basal cell. Now when you have a basal cell on your chest or your back, they just do a destruction of it. Now when it's on your face, you really don't want to have a procedure done called destruction of a basal cell on your face. So I had two options, either radiology, or most surgery. I waited five years. And when I went to the radiologist, he said it would probably take about 10 hits of radiation over the course of five weeks, two times a week. And I tried everything to actually get rid of this. I read stuff online, all the different ways people attempted to get rid of basal cell. And of course, none of them worked. And finally, it was starting to get a little bit bigger. And my dermatologist said to me, you know, bud, you're going to have to do something with this thing sooner or later. And I knew I did. And he had been telling me about a doctor here in New Jersey that was really good. And this time he said to me, you know, if it was a family member of mine, I wouldn't hesitate sending them to this particular doctor. And that's what I needed to hear. Somebody that I trusted telling me they would send their own family member to get the most surgery done by this particular doctor. So that's what I did. I called up the doctor. I made an appointment. It was probably a four month lead time. And what you're about to see now is everything that happened from the morning of surgery up until this point right now. So this Sunday, it'll be exactly two months since my most surgery. So today's the morning in the video that I've been postponing for a really long time. It's uh, seven o'clock in the morning and I'll be leaving for my Mo's appointment. And in about an hour or two, this spot right here will be no more. And hopefully everything goes well. Here we are. Hopefully this goes well. Whether this video is ever seen is yet to be seen. <laughs> it is 8.30 now. I left the room at 8.17. So that means they had to numb you. And they did the surgery that quickly. Yeah. So 13 minutes total. And now it's an hour wait. Hopefully they don't have to Go back in again. Go back in and take any more. I see a little pinkness right above it. Beginning of maybe bruising, hard to tell. 
Does it hurt? Nope. No. Nope. They've done so well. The, the thing that hurt the most was just the first yeah. needle going in. So the first two or three pricks of the numbing agent that hurt a bit. And then once that started kicking in, the rest of them I didn't even feel. Does your nose feel numb or is it just really right? So it's really exactly where they did This it. side feels fine. This side, yeah, this side feels a little Yeah. Fine. 10 after nine and one and done. So it didn't even take the hour of waiting, right? Because it was 9.30, no, it was 8.30. And now it's 10 after nine. So 40 minutes, they got everything in one shot. Are you happy? I'm freaking relieved. Especially Yay. knowing that uh, waiting six years didn't cause the roots to go crazy. So in a couple of weeks, we'll see what this all looks like and feels like. So we can actually get to work on time. This, actually, I get to work early for once. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Okay, so it's almost exactly 24 hours later. It's a little over 24 hours later. Um, it's a beautiful morning and that's why I'm outside. This is great weather for January. And yeah, it's a little puffy. The doctor said, you know, just below the eye might get a little puffy and stuff. Might look like, you know, I got punched in the face, which it does. But hopefully, you know, within another 24 hours, the swollenness will go down. And overall, I think it looks pretty good. Um, I was really nervous and scared to, um, to see what this was going to look like. And I think it looks pretty good. Linda just looked at it and she said uh, she was ready to see her, her new Frankenstein. Um, and, but she was smiling because I guess she, you know, if, if your loved one thinks it, you know, looks good, then it, it must look pretty decent. So I'm happy. And uh, he said, we'll just keep going day by day, keep it moist, make sure it doesn't scab over. And, you know, with any luck, it'll look like one, I'd never had the basal cell and two that I, don't even have a scar. Okay, so today is January 12th, and it is now just over 48 hours later from my surgery, and we'll be able to sell maybe if there's any improvement. Um, it's definitely puffier, I think. If you can zoom in a bit, it's definitely puffy. I can feel the puffiness under my eye. And looking down, I can definitely like see that there's an obstruction in my view um, looking down. And if I had to describe it, a lot of times it almost feels like I'm wearing either readers or sunglasses. And I, I, yesterday, I, a few times I felt myself wanting to like take off my glasses because it felt like I had glasses on and there was something touching um, my cheeks, which obviously it wasn't. Um, but other than that, no pain. Um, putting in contacts was a little bit of a, a, a challenge trying to, you know, open my eye enough to, to get the contact in. But other than that, we're just going to keep on putting the Vaseline on and we'll, you know, take it day by day. Everything else has been normal. Sleeping is fine. And yeah. So hopefully in another couple of days, the swelling will keep going down. We'll be able to actually see that progress, you know, as I log this, you know, every 24 hours. And hopefully by Wednesday when the stitches come out, you know, there's a, a good improvement. Okay, Sunday, January 14th, four days after surgery. And this is what my face looks like. The swellings and puffiness is going down. It's not nearly as sore as it was. It's a little bit more discolored. But the swelling yesterday was really big. Um, but it definitely went down overnight. So um, let's see. Today's Sunday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Stitches come out in three days. And you'll never... We won't be seeing the little lines anymore, hopefully. Every time I look in the mirror, I'm thinking of the Alice Cooper song, Feed My Frankenstein. 
But other than that, uh, now I don't even see the puffiness either. I can look down and my vision's pretty clear. Um, contacts feel great. And it's, it's snowing because it's January in New Jersey. Finally, a little snow. We're getting ready to leave right now to run to the dermatologist. It's been seven days since the most surgery and the stitches come out today. And yeah, the bruising doesn't look nearly as bad um, inside. So right now with the light shining on it from the sun, I just looked at the pre-recorded tape that I just did a minute or so ago. I said, and right now when I look at it in the sun, <clears throat> the bruise looks a little bit um, prevalent, I guess I'd say. The bruise still looks like it's there, but it's nowhere near what it was. Um, and inside, you can barely see the bruise. Just in the daylight, it's way more noticeable than it is um, inside. Okay, so the stitches are all out. Felt absolutely nothing. Took about two and a half minutes, three tops maybe. Said the area looked good. And it'll smooth out over time because there's technically still stitches underneath. So there were stitches that will dissolve underneath the top stitches. Um, so they'll slowly disintegrate and just massage the area. And I said over the course of time, it should smooth out and flatten out. And with any luck, it should look like there was never, ever anything there. So do some more updates. And hopefully in a month or so, he said it looks, I don't say as good as new, but at 53, how good can your skin look? <laughs> but let's hope uh, in about three to four weeks, um, yeah, it looks like it's not even there. Okay, so January 20th, a snowy Saturday, and it has been 10 days now since my most surgery. The stitches came out three days ago on Wednesday, so it's been three days since then, and this is what it looks like. You know, underneath the eyes pretty much look the same now. Swelling the bruising, I would say, is pretty much gone. There might be a slight discoloration um, outside. Inside, you, can, you really can't notice it, and in certain lightings, you can't even notice um, the bump right here and the scar tissue for the moment or the scar tissue at the moment. So over the next couple of weeks, I'm just going to take a roller, which is what I've been doing for the last two days, just taking a roller and just putting a little pressure on there and breaking up the scar tissue. January 31st in New Jersey. We haven't seen the sun in over a week. But the good news is it's not raining, and it's been three weeks since my Mohs surgery, and this is what it's looking like. So I've been massaging it daily, a couple minutes a day, usually while I'm driving, and at night when I go to bed using the roller. My face certainly doesn't feel as tight as it has been feeling over the last three weeks. Um, Normally when I bend down or, you know, squat down or pick something up, like I could feel the pressure in my face. Um, now I don't really feel that at all. And like I said, the, it doesn't feel as numb as it has been. So the sensitivity and the feelings coming back, I will say I'm a little disappointed um, as far as the bump and how far out it still is. I don't know if I'm expecting miracles or, you know, biology that defies the laws of human nature um, as far as this scar and the thickness of it at the moment. So we'll do another video next week, and then we'll post this video up, and then we'll do monthly updates to see how this is progressing. Because, you know, right now it's really hard to tell. I look at it daily, 
So when I look in the mirror every day, I don't really see a, a difference right now. Maybe when we compare or when I'm looking, cutting up these videos, I'll see a difference. We'll see if I even add this into the video or not. Um, so like I said, we'll do one more video next week. Then we'll post this up. And then we'll do monthly updates. <laughs> this is like the blooper reel. Will you stop <laughs> laughing? I was a, I'm going to have to cut to the mic. Give me your mic. <laughs> We'll, we'll, we'll mic you up oh after. My God, you can't stop laughing. Okay, so today is February 10th, the day before Super Bowl Sunday. And it has been exactly one month since my Mohs surgery. I went to the dermatologist on Thursday, two days ago. And the first thing my dermatologist said to me was, he looked at it and he goes, that was done recently, wasn't it? And I said, yeah, I guess you can tell. Huh? He goes, yeah, well, it's you know still pretty high up and stuff. So he said it would probably take at least two to three months to kind of figure out how visible the scar will be. And he also said as the time goes by that this bump will slowly start spreading out, moving down and stuff. So um, as far as sensitivity... Sometimes it feels numb. Sometimes it feels, um, I mean, you can definitely tell the difference. Like it's puffy. Um, I wouldn't say it's numb, but right now we're outside. So it feels a little chilly out. So it probably feels more numb than usual, but I don't feel it unless I actually touch it. And I've been putting Vaseline on it, massaging it probably for five minutes a day, every day in the morning and the evening. So we'll keep doing that, and we'll do an update in a month, and then another month after that. So this Sunday, it'll be exactly two months since my Mohs surgery, and I think my face is looking pretty good. I keep rubbing it, and massaging it. I put creams on it every day, and it's going down more and more. It still feels, you know, a bump in there. It still kind of feels almost numb, and I, I know it's not numb, but it's just that it's still a little swollen with scar tissue. But I think it's breaking down pretty well. And I'll keep doing updates. So see you in a month or two.